So the chapters came out very, very early this week. Like, I woke up 5.30, was getting ready for Gintama, watched it, and, you know, I was just getting prepped about to do a review, and then I find out that, you know, Bleach, One Piece, and Toriko are out, and I'm like, what the fuck? Why is the chapters out on a Wednesday? Like, this is really early for the chapters, and... Does this mean that we're going to have a hiatus next week? Because it doesn't say at the end of the chapters, like any of the chapters I read, that we're going to have, like, a break next week for, you know, One Piece, Toriko, and Bleach. So we don't really know. But if anyone does know, like, if you know that we're going to have, like, some form of hiatus next week, please let me know in the comments below. Because it's just, it's odd to see the chapters out early. I, I don't think it's Golden Week, is it? Is it Golden Week, or is it... I don't know. I thought Golden Week already passed. But anyways, since I'm past that, the chapters are out early, so if you've yet to read them, go read them. They're pretty damn good chapters. Like, all around, all the chapters today are pretty damn good. So let's get into Bleach. So Bleach. I see that Kubo has not forgotten his fetish for butterflies, or, in a way, seraphs. Now, we have to admit, the transformation at the end of the chapter... It reminded me a lot of a butterfly, but it also reminded me of a seraph, like an angel-looking theme. And I was like, oh, that's a pretty cool design. I mean, even though it's weird-looking, it's very, very fucking weird-looking, it's a pretty cool design. So, Kubo, I, one thing I have to give you credit, love putting some really interesting and unique character designs for your villains, or any characters at that. Like, seeing that butterfly look, I was like, whoa, what the fuck? And I was just looking at that in the chapter, so good job, Koops. I, I like that artwork. The best way to sum up the chapter is left, left, right, right, down, up, left, right, A, B, start. That is the cheat code that our villain in this current ongoing fight did. <sighs> okay, so apparently he's like a cross of Obito slash Eisen in a way because of his transformation. That reminds me a lot of Butterfly slash Seraph. So, like, if Obito and... Aizen had a child, and their powers kind of fused in a certain way. That's kind of what we would get right here. So, Shunsui's going to have a little bit of an issue, because at the end of the chapter, he gets shot, and most likely implies that he just took heavy damage, unless he activates his Bonkai. So, the way Kubo is setting this up, clearly, in these past couple chapters, he's setting it up for a Bonkai reveal. And, majority of the time, I would say, okay, judging by the way it's going, we might have about five to seven chapters until a Bonkai is revealed. But, this time around, it might be rather quick. Like, we might get that Bonkai reveal quickly, because Shunzui just took damage. He's in a spot right now. This dude has transformed, which goes to show you the level of Shunsui to force a guy to transform when Shunsui is not even using his maximum potential with a Bonkai. It just goes to show you how strong Shunsui is. Like, he's not even at max power, but he forced this guy to go into his, like, ultimate mode. Yeah, it, it just goes to show you what level our Captain Commander is. And I don't think Shunsui is dead, because we have yet to see that Bonkai, and the way Koobs has been teasing that... Bonkai and with all the characters and stuff, I don't think he would kill off a character like Shunsui without, at the very least, revealing his Bonkai. And I wonder what Shunsui's Bonkai is going to be like to be able to counter someone like this right now that's going on. Like, you can't hit me, I'm pretty much a cheat code, like, all your abilities won't work on me. And it's like he overrides, you know, Shunsui's ability. The way I feel like his Bonkai is going to work after looking at the chapter and thinking about it for a little bit. I feel like Shunsui's Bonkai is going to be able to break his rules. Like, you know how Shunsui sets up his rules and he has to follow his rules? I feel like he will be able to break his rules and everybody else will have to follow the rules and maybe he'll be able to manipulate the rules to where he can bend them to his will to where he can force people to do other selective different rules that not many people know of. Like, you know how... When you're playing a game, like in the past when you're a child, and let's say you're playing Monopoly, okay? Let's just use Monopoly as an example. You're playing Monopoly, and all of a sudden, you know, you have a couple friends over, and none of you really know all the rules, except one person. And this one person that knows all the rules decides to bend the rules a little bit, like, you know, change the rules up. Let's say, like, you got $200 when you cross go. That, that's the standard rule we all know of. But what if the kids did not know about that? What if he bend the rules to where the only person that would get 200 
dollars every time they pass go would be the person that passed first time around or rolled first and that would be for instance Shunsui. So what if Shunsui's ability was able to manipulate it to where he can rewrite the existing rules to better himself if the opponent doesn't know about the rules in general? That could be what ba the Bonkai is of Shunsui because the way this is leading to with the power that was revealed in this chapter. So Bleach, rather good this week. Interesting character design from Koobs this week with the angel slash butterfly. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.